So today we're going to talk about the race at Atlanta. This is going to be my first race review. And it's basically going to give you my uh, opinion, how the race was, what big incidents happened from the race at Atlanta here. So not much happened in the first two stages of the race. Um, there were very little cautions. I think there were only two cautions for actual contact from cars. So it was, in a nutshell, a boring race. I know the new aero package and all that was in there, and I'm not as familiar with that. But Eric Almirola started on the pole and uh, led the first laps until the competition yellow where he got a slow pit stop. Then for the rest of stage one, Kyle Larson, uh, he dominated uh, the rest of stage one and uh, he ended up winning that. And then comes stage two, Kevin Harvick comes in um, and um, was... Uh, he had the lead for some time in stage two because he won the race off pit road. Uh, then Kyle Larson came back and took the lead back for a time in stage two. But then with around 13 laps to go, Kevin Harvick took the lead uh, away from Kyle Larson when Kyle Larson got really loose and started to fade in the closing laps of stage number two. Uh, Ky Kevin Harvick ended up winning stage number two. And then you had stage number three where uh, there was a little bit more action to it. Uh, Kyle Busch ended up blowing a tire. Uh, didn't get up into the uh, wall when he blew the actual tire, but he did make contact with the wall that caused the tire to go down. Um, but Kyle Busch ended up uh, reviving himself and finishing in the top ten uh, in this race. And then Ryan Priest, uh, along with his teammate Chris Busher, were up in the top ten for some time. And then Ryan Priest came down pit road and uh, actually got in a pit road incident and wrecked him uh, his car. And uh, that ended up giving him a DNF for this race, unfortunately. He was putting together a nice run. It's too bad for the rookie Priest, but... Then uh, Joey Logano uh, was looking like he might actually have a shot. Kurt Busch was up there. Kurt Busch, I don't think, had the engine power to win the race. Joey Logano ended up coming to pit road before the race was over because he had a, a tire going down. Uh, Kozlowski ended up uh, uh, having t uh, enough tires to get to uh, the end to actually win the race uh, by passing uh, Joey Logano. And, uh, you know, in a nutshell, this race was, I don't think it was, I mean, definitely not as exciting as the, the Daytona 500. This race was not very exciting, you know, it was, it was a good race in general, um, of, like, the ending. Because, you know, the first two stages were kind of just Kyle Larson and Kevin Harvick dominating the majority of it. And then uh, you had some more drivers, you know, you had, you had more green flag pit stops. It was not, it, there were not many cautions. Had it not been for competition cautions and, you know, the stage yellows, there were, they were, there would have been only two cautions, and that would have been uh, for Kyle Busch and Ryan Priest. So, what's uh, funny is that uh, Kozlowski also, he had the stomach blue the stomach flu and he uh, ended up winning this race with the stomach flu it, that is that's insane if you ask me but you know I guess that it was a nice gift for him as uh, hopefully he'll get over that sickness uh, soon but uh, for right now he is a winner and he's locked into the chase now so a good job by Kozlowski to uh, Manage those tires. Truex made a run for second. Uh, hopefully, uh, I wish he would have won, but uh, it was a good, uh, good strategy by Brad Keselowski to keep those tires uh, and save them, and just let Truex creep just enough, and then go all out on the last lap. 
So that was my short little review of the uh, Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500, um, my reaction to it. There wasn't much to this race. Uh, had I put out a Daytona 500 one, it probably would have been a very long video. Uh, another thing to add is that Hendrick struggled at this race. Um, Hendrick struggled. Three of uh, their four cars just barely finished inside the top. 20, um, and then I know Elliott was in 19th, Bowman was in 15th, but then Jimmy Johnson struggled and was two laps down and hadn't gotten into a wreck, an incident, or anything. He was just two laps down and finished 24th. So, another thing to add to uh, that the uh, Jimmy Johnson struggles is uh, it's starting off pretty much the same way it did last year. So, don't know what we're going to expect next week from Jimmy Johnson. That's it for you guys. I didn't have much to say about this. It was uh, it was not very uh, um, exciting filled, should you say. It was just uh, it was a little uh, below average race for Atlanta. Usually, you know, you would hope for one of those photo finishes, you know. Had Shrek gotten closer, I think he would have been able to make a photo finish, an exciting one. But uh, Brad Keselowski with the American flag does it here at Atlanta, and he is locked into the chase. I will see you guys next time with another video. Hopefully I will put out a Las Vegas review when that race is over. See you guys.